Hi guys, Chris here from The Weights Channel and I've come to you with a question. Are you sick and tired of having a real shabby looking cam when you stream or make videos? Today I have the solution for you. Why not come on in, take a seat and let me run you through Camo Studio. <laughs> Okay guys, first thing you want to do is go to the link in the description below for Camo Studio. Go and download it, and once you have it downloaded, what you want to do is install it with the installer that it comes with. Once you've got it installed, you'll see a slightly different version of what I've got here. If you've got it installed, you're going to install version 2.0. Now, this is the latest version out. But first of all, I'm going to show you what it was like in the previous version. Some of the effects, some of the things that you can do within this version. As you can see, the first thing you have to do is install your camera that you want to use. Now, the older version only worked with mobile phones or tablets that you could plug in. Once you have your device connected to Camo Studio, you'll see options on there for frame rate, for which camera on the device you want to use, and effects and filters. Ranging from low quality all the way up to 1080p. Some of the different presets you have here vary from color saturation increase or decrease, black and white, funky colors, as well as some very fun filters. Some of the filters we have, like here, the emoji face, emoji hands, face zoom, so it keeps track of your face, invisible, which is a fun little filter for if you're streaming. Eight bit pixelated sketch, which is very good if you're trying to re recreate the aha song. Leopard one of my favorites, Fred on the head. This one has a very TikTok vibe, same sort of color scheme. This one I'm not quite sure on, but it looks okay. This is lightning on your face. And this is big head. Unfortunately, with the previous version, you couldn't really do much else with regards to saturation, color, or anything else. And you just want to click download and install. Once you've downloaded and installed the new version, you'll be greeted with something like this. Now the good thing with Camo 2.0 is the fact that you can actually now add any camera device that you can plug in, whether it be a webcam, your phone, your tablet, or an old digital camera. With version 2.0, you still get all the same features you got with the previous version, but there's a lot more adjustability. They have a dedicated portrait mode for your TikToks or your YouTube shorts or Instagram. Once 
One of the new things that Camo Studio 2.0 brings to the table are these beautiful name badges that appear on the screen. These are actually really simple to adjust. All you've got to do is duplicate the one that you have, or the one that you like, rename it to something that you want, and it's as simple as going over and changing the text and the image in the sidebar that appears. As you can see here, you've got two options for pictures, one on the lower bar and one on the circle. You can readjust all the sizes of everything in the template, including changing the colors and borders. changing the text so you can put your name and your relative social media badges on And once you have everything exactly how you like it, you just save the template and away you go. They also include ones for YouTube. Twitter and even one for TikTok. I previously mentioned that you can use webcams and other digital cameras. Now this is my webcam. As you can see, it's not as good quality as my phone camera, but when you're using a webcam, Camo Studio does allow you to use things like the zoom feature and also the um, shutter speed and brightness sections. These for iPhone and phone users are currently locked under Pro. You can also change from off 50 or 60 megahertz if your camera allows it. And you have all of the same presets and adjustability with presets as you did with the previous version. So guys, that is Camo Studio 2.0. If you are looking for a better camera for your live streams or your YouTube videos, and you don't have the budget right now, I honestly completely and utterly recommend this software. I'm going to give you a side by side comparison now of my two cameras. So this, as you can see, this is my phone camera. This is a really good quality. And this is my webcam. And like I said before, there is so much that you can do with the webcam settings. As you can see, I can adjust it and move it around. I can adjust the temperature. Saturation and the hue. So you can even make an older webcam look really, really good. But if you want to use something with a little bit more oomph and you've got the technology already in your hand, why not use it? Guys, if you want a copy of this software, it's free to download for the free version. And if you use my link down below, you'll get a discount on the pro version as well. Go check it out. Honestly, best software I've used in a very, very long time. But until next time, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and we will see you all next time.